bout of the evening is a very special bout. It's the first time it's happened in Victoria. It's a female MMA fight, the very first one, so you've got a very special event right here tonight, and we're coming into the first round. Let's welcome, in the blue corner, it's her debut fight, weighing in at 54.10 kilos. Sarah Morrison! And in the red corner, put your hands together. She weighs in at 54.60 kilos. She's got a record of five fights for two. She trains at Kumakai MMA. Meg Gaga! Our referee is Norman Liu. Our judges are Mark Corey and Graham William Matthews Williams. Any last questions, girls? When I say stop fighting, stop fighting straight away. I'm here to protect you. You girls do your own thing. Touch them up if you want to. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Peter Hatton's Night of Mayhem Stand number four. Right. Coming to you live from the Dan Ong Showgrounds. My name's John Fergus. Joining me tonight, the aficionado, Frankie Barker from 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. Frankie, we've got a huge, huge, huge night here tonight. Eight MMA fights. We've got kickboxing, boxing, mod tie, and three sensational. Uh, Semi-main event and main event cards, mate. The main event, James McSweeney taking on Kim, uh, Kim Robinson. Well, James McSweeney, as we know, is coming out of the Ultimate Fighter 10 series. I mean, the boy is just a gargantuan. He's, he's humongous. His striking solid. His wrestling is solid. He'd be no doubt be putting in big effort over the last few years coming out of, um, you know, training out of, out of uh, England. Uh, so it's going to be a great scrap, Bushy. Yeah, Matt Gallagher's got a good stand-up record, too. So, um, at 55 kilos, uh, she's a 5-2 and two record in Muay Thai. So she's no stranger to the clinch, working the knees and working those leg kicks as well. You're right above us in the commentary position at the moment, underhooks in. Absolutely. Well, you know, uh, Meg Gallagher came out firing and swinging, so you know, Sarah Morrison's doing the right thing to pin her against the corner and, and li limit how much punishment she needs to take on board. Both girls weighed in just over the 54 kilo mark, so very evenly matched. Good strong knee there nice from Meg just hand. on the break. Got to watch out, she's going to get a back taken here. Sarah Morrison's going to look at get a back taken. Meg's going to try and take her down to the ground as she does. Okay, here she goes. All right, she's going to start punching the body to loosen up that guillotine. Sarah does not have her hands together, so she's going to break free. There you go. Yeah, now you're going to see Meg try and pass. She's going to use her right foot on the inside of the thigh. She's going to try and open up the guard, and she's going to try and pull her, her left leg out. You're going to see her use her, her right foot. She's going to put it, the instep on top of the thigh, and she's going to push it open and start to pass the guard of Sarah Morrison. Tell you what, Frankie Barker, I've missed uh, seeing, sorry, hearing Ed Beverlock at some of the recent shows. The man doesn't need a microphone, a megaphone, not. nothing. You're going to look at, uh, Meg might try and pass the guard here. I can't see from this angle, but she's got a nice head and arm control here on Sarah Morrison. You see Sarah trying to punch her way out of this, but she needs to move her hips and get to the side and look for that right underhook. Norman Lou just keeping a good close eye on the girls. You see Meg just trying to pull her leg out. The referee might be thinking about standing this up. Meg's, uh, uh, obviously, Sarah Morrison is just hanging on here to try and minimise the amount of damage. As you can see, she's going to look for that overhook every single time. Bit of a knee to the midsection as well there from Meg Gallagher. Gallagher. If Sarah could get her right butterfly hook in, she could actually elevate Meg off her to get some kind of guard going to minimise some of the damage. But, you know, Meg's going to she's happy to sit there and just start pounding away. She's yeah. got a top position. She's half guard. She's got good control. And it's been good too, Frank. They've been, they've been busy. They started off on the ground right in front of us and they've basically work, walked their way all the way around the ring. She's going for the mount. She's looking at mounting. If she can get that left leg free, she might try and mount. She's going to pepper her with punches to try and loosen the, the grip of Sarah's legs. Sarah's trying to bridge. Sarah needs an overhook on one side and bridge towards that overhook. There she goes. She's got the overhook on the left. She's going to try and bridge to the left. Yeah, good first round there from both girls, Frankie Barker. All right, here we go. Second round. So round two, Sarah Morrison fighting in the blue corner. Meg might throw that right hand. There she goes. Sarah Morrison was presenting a southpaw, so it's classic to throw a right hand down the pipe. Now she's in the clinch. 
And it's good to see Frankie Barker, mate. The, the girls are fighting MMA in Melbourne. It's great to see them coming through. Absolutely. And, you know, with, with the advent of, you know, the introduction of Ronda Rousey to, you know, professional MMA for the ladies, being the Strikeforce World Champion, defeating Misha Tate, I mean, that did a massive thing to really inspire the girls to to want to really step up and, and, and mix it up. And we're seeing higher level girls fighting in MMA all the time. It's awesome. It's awesome. And as you said, coming out of two very prominent MMA gyms here in Melbourne. Sarah's playing a smart game, Bushy. She doesn't want to take punishment. Meg Gallagher's got some strong... Oh, that left hook, that right hook just missed her, her nose by a millimetre. Here we go. Look for the front kick from Meg Gallagher. Nice leg yeah, kick. Yeah, good round kick there. She's got some good hands on her too. Another nice inside leg kick. Sarah really gritting her teeth and swinging. Nice right hook from Sarah Morrison. Good inside leg kick there from Meg as well. Beautiful straight left, right on the nose. Jumping knee there from Sarah. That hurt Meg. That hurt Meg. She's going to look for the takedown. She's going to take the back. As you can see, she's got a wizard. There's the wizard. Stops her from taking the back. Sarah's got to be very careful. She's got to keep that right arm wrapped around Meg Gallagher's left arm or she will have her back taken. See how she's got it on top there? She has a risk of getting her back taken here. The thing that's saving her bushy is the ropes. Or else she'd have her back taken immediately. She's going to try and spin around here. We're going to see her try and take her back yeah, Meg's or spin that position. And Meg just trying to knee, knee up to the head there as well, Frank, over in the blue corner. Just here through the effects microphone, they're just saying, Nick Banjo, Patterson just calling it to Meg, just the knee to the legs in close. <coughs> Sarah Morrison's doing a good job at isolating Meg Gallagher's striking. She's pinned her up against the ropes, using her inside knees, working very well. She's going to lean on her. This takes a lot of energy out of the fighter's bushy. When you're leaning against someone, against the cage or the ropes, it's very, very tiring. It's exhausting. Gal has... Oh, nice oh, knee, to the, body. Me nice there. knee to the body. She's going to try and take the back again. Sarah Morrison doing a nice job in, in wizarding with that right arm. Okay. You might see Meg trying to reverse his position and look for a takedown. Good strong work there, Frank, from both girls. Obviously well schooled. Look for the knee from Gallagher. Well, Morrison knows this and puts her back against the ropes. It's a very smart play. Prove it. Stop! Yeah, good second round there, Frankie. How'd you see that one? Well, you know, very a lot of aggression from um, Sarah Morrison in that round. I've got it, Sarah on that round. This isn't even fighting my cards. Third and final round, Frankie Barker, and the crowd already getting right into it. I got this fight even in my in my card. Sarah's really been pushing, stepping forward. She's stepping forward. She's, she's coming forward. She's, she knows she might be. If there's any chance of being behind, she's feeling it. She wants to push the pace. Both girls attempting Superman punches, just missing the mark. Beautiful left hook. Yeah, that is a big left hook there on Miguel. Her. her shoulders are very strong. Nice inside leg. Beautiful oh, left hook. Sarah Morrison was really hurt on that left hook. She's got the overhook. She's going to look at landing some knees. Sarah's going to try and pin her against the, the, the ropes. And you can see the red corner of her. Already seen that one, Frankie. They've said that Meg's hurt. The body. Hurt and rock Sarah, but Sarah's just some good defensive work. She's still there. I think if Sarah actually breaks the clinch and works from range, I think she's better off. Beautiful takedown. Nice reverse. She's going to have her back taken. She's got some kind of headlock, but now she's exposing her back. Here we go, you're, going to, you're going to see Meg start to either get the seatbelt control over under with the grips, look at mounting her, and start to throw some big punches in the mount position. They're going to have to restart this in the center of the ring. I was going to Bushy. say, if Sarah's smart, make sure grab onto the ropes and they'll make them, uh, <laughs> make them stand up. I think in a matter of time, they're going, to, they're going to restart in the middle. If that's the case, Sarah's in some trouble. Minute and a half left in the third and final round. I think saving uh, Sarah Morrison right now is the ropes. And as I mentioned, it's going to be have to have to be restarted. Bushy. Yeah, Norman Luge is going to reposition back in center ring. All right, here we go. I, I got a feeling that Meg Gallagher is going to drop some bombs. She's going to drop some bombs. Sarah's going to have to get out real quick. She's got the overhook on the left. She's going to look at rolling over to her left hand side. There she goes. She's going to try and roll. She's trying to get onto her, 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 her side. 
She's holding, controlling the posture with her arms, but here comes the bombs. Big There's bombs one there big right hand. She's turning over. She's going to look for the rear naked choke. She's going to strike first. She's got to get her hooks in. Watch that left hook go in. Here it goes. She's going to look at getting it. There's the hook. It goes in. There's a the left hook. You can hear Red Bevelock just screaming out for her posture. Good work there from Sarah Morrison. Absolutely. Though. Sarah Morrison hanging in there, but she's not, she's not defending at all. And this, may, this fight might get stopped. Sarah's got to move. She's going to try and put her on her back. She's got control of the left arm. Beautiful. Okay, now Meg's going to look for the rear naked choke. She's got the choke in. She's got to squeeze it out. If she can get her on her left hand side, she's got her on her side. She's going to look at finishing this fight. Sarah's doing well defending the choke. Good work there from Sarah. She's going to follow her over. She has to keep control of her. So you can see Meg staying on her back. She's going to follow her over onto her knees. There she goes. She's going to start striking again to soften up the neck. And she's going to go in for the choke. There's 15 seconds left on the fight. I think Meg Gallagher's going to run away with this one. Yeah, for very dominant third and final round here. Great to hear the crowd getting behind it too, Frank. First fight of the night, the crowd's absolutely loving this one. Sarah Morris is tough, man. Sarah Morris is tough. Both girls are tough there, Frankie Barker, but I'll tell you what, I reckon this one will go way to the red corner. There you have it, a unanimous points decision win to Meg Gallagher. Congratulations to Sarah Morrison. What a sensational first fight of the night.